they've investigated other Congress members, so I think it only stands fair that he be investigated as well. Um, and I think also a nonpartisan investigation is very important, um, not you know not just for him, but for anybody that has allegations against them. Um, this isn't a partisan issue. This is how women are treated every day. Three women today calling out President Trump, saying that he behaved inappropriately when he was around them, and they want Congress to investigate. It comes amid a reckoning of sorts across this nation on harassment and sexual conduct. Just last week, Time Magazine named the Silence Breakers as their person of the year, so to speak. But one person who was not included in that issue, the woman who for decades accused former President Bill Clinton of rape. Juanita Broderick joins me now in a story exclusive. Juanita, good to have you here tonight. Um, you know, it, it is, it's stunning. Uh, you blazed this trail before anybody was willing to listen. Um, and you told your story again and again. How do you feel when you're not included in something like that? Well, it was disappointing to me, Martha. Uh, they had called to ask me, I think it was on, I've got it here, November 24th, mm -hmm. and asked if, if I would be interested in participating in uh, a story that they were doing about the Me Too movement. And I really didn't feel a part of that movement. You know, mm -hmm. I, I was Me Too decades before it was okay to be Me Too. And I truly didn't feel a part of that. And actually, at that time, I, d I did decline because, just like I said, I didn't feel a part of it. Yeah. it and know, then they call me. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. They call. Yeah, they call me back uh, approximately two days later and ask if I would just make a comment. And I was very happy to do that. I, I supported these women. I thought they were brave women. And I told her, yes, I would be happy to submit a comment. And then a few days went by, and I was so happy when they were declared person of the year. And when I went to look for my comments, they weren't there. It wasn't there. And you know, yeah, I, that, that, I want to ask you about that this disappointed because, me. you know, today you saw these women who are coming out to make uh, accusations against President Trump. Some of them did the same thing during the campaign. And you lined up with other accusers of Bill Clinton at the debate very famously. Um, but it's interesting because when you get into this question about who should be believed, Hillary Clinton was asked, should all women be believed? And here's what she yes. said. Well, I would say that everybody should be believed at first until they are disbelieved based on evidence. She's talking about you, Juanita. I know, I know that uh, she has nothing else to say but that. You know, she is, uh, she just won't accept that it's true. And how do you feel about that? I mean, you're in the middle of this movement where everyone's saying every woman should be believed. And it took a long time and a Wall Street Journal expose for someone to finally listen to what you were saying about the man in the most powerful position in this country. I know. It's very disappointing. And, and to think that it was held, Martha, until after the impeachment hearing, that, that was probably the most mm. devastating to me, that they considered holding it until, and then run it opposite of the Grammys. That, that was mm. so disappointing. So you, you stood by President Trump throughout the course of the campaign, and now he has these women who came out today, and they say they think he should be investigated. What do you say? Well, I think every victim of sexual abuse has the right to be heard, and they need to have fairness ac accordingly. Uh, I have no idea what, what is true and what's not true. I can only speak to my own situation. It was something I lived through, yes. uh, and that's all I can speak right. to. Juanita, I can't speak you. to others. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good to have you with us tonight. Hope you'll come back. Juanita Broderick joining us this thank evening. Thank you.